All right, we are <clears throat> currently in the what is the name of the system again? Uh, uh, Brockway system. And we're gonna do a couple of missions today. Uh, we've got four mechs functional, so we do have a full lance, spider, phoenix hawk, or pardon, phoenix hawk, spider, vindicator, centurion, the panther, and the cicada are out of condition because they were uh, undergoing some more uh, extensive refits. And then in the barracks, we have. A Lance Worth with Tranquility, our usual scout pilot, um, currently on the bench uh, for another eight days with injuries. So let's get rolling. Yukon will take the place. Yukon and Shudder are on uh, low morale for a garbage. Uh, and I don't mean, and I don't mean to be clear, like uh, a a nonsense call. I mean, literally, they were arguing on garbage detail, and uh, I made the wrong call apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, in dealing with that, so there is that. Uh, we're gonna do trap sprung first because, to be honest, this sounds like a salvage opportunity, which I am more than happy to uh, go with. Uh, so the vindicator will go here, centurion here, and I guess Shutter will get the Phoenix Hawk. And the spider to Yukon. So let's see what happens. Badlands Biodome, so relatively hot battlefield, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, the Phoenix Hawk has not undergone an intended refit to have a fourth uh, medium laser added to it because um, I'm waiting for it to be damaged in battle so that I can, you know, not put it out of commission for a. Uh, refit without also fixing the damage up so this is meant to be a trap obviously we're you know literally doing this to see who comes to investigate gauge the mech intercept the forces to recording touring concordant so the Torians, ironically are the only inner sphere or the only power that we actually are f somewhat friendly with so realistically this is a bad political move to do this this mission but um at this point, we're not friendly enough with anyone to really assume that uh, what we have with them is anything beyond a mild relationship of convenience. And as a result, we need to uh, make that money. Two. I'm actually a little nervous now. We look at it? We can. Okay. This is a little gambly. It is a Rifleman 3C. Um, so we'll attack it. There's a Rifleman currently actually in the... Oh, God. We've opened up his leg already. Okay. This gives me something to aim for, at least. Uh, can we... Can we... We can! Okay. We don't have a targeted shot, so we can't go for the leg. We can... Okay. This thing's got, like, no armor on its legs, which is... A bit weird. This one's not gonna... We're just gonna get an LRM barrage from from the Centurion for sure. It is our least mobile mech. For and then the question is... going to be a no. I'm there. As far as being able to get the Vindicator on target. So hopefully he takes his opportunity with AC turns. To shoot at the Phoenix Hawk, because honestly, you could probably wreck the. No, 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 not the spider, not the spider! Um. That was weird. No AC 10 fire. Um. Okay. So I'm kind of wor worried that something might be coming from that side. So. Um. We're gonna overheat. Just weird. Probably should look at rebuilding that spider if it takes uh, a significant amount of damage. We do have something shooting at us from distance. That would be the reinforcements coming in. Okay, let's finish off this Rifleman before he can reactivate. And hopefully we can get some Rifleman salvage. I mean, obviously we're not going to get a mech out of it. But we could, in theory, get ourselves, you know, two-thirds of the way there. Here we go. A lot of armor is stripped, mind you. Mind you, I'm a little too, I'm a little bit too nervous to actually uh, 
not just go for the kill. Like, there, there are ways to get more salvage out of this than what I'm going to do. But let us be 100% honest here. I don't really want another mech to be in the shop. And as a result, I have no interest in taking my time with this guy. Although, if I can take out his legs... To be honest, I'm just going to run this back. Let's brace. Because right now. I've got something. So, Torium mech number one is a light mech. That's fine. Light damage, Commander. We could do that. And a second light mech. So that's fine. We can do that too. I mean, we're probably outweighed here because of the rifleman. But if we take the rifleman out, this is going to, you know, kind of, you know, go our way pretty quickly. I would think. We do a precision strike. You know, with both of his legs really exposed, we could go for more salvage. We could go for the double leg kill, which would be Commander? probably ideal. Um, but we didn't get a leg there, which is problematic. We could, we could just kill him with the center torso, but like, I kind of... I don't want to throw away a chance at more salvage. Even though I'm like, you know, not going for salvage here. I'm going for... Um, I'm going to just try to get him out of the way, but I'm willing to kind of go for the legs. He is going to get back up, though. That mech looks so cool. I love how the rifleman looks. Even though, like, my experience actually driving one in Mech Warrior has been actually kind of shitty. <laughs> But, whatever. We could do this. Uh, okay, so Yukon. Can we jump up? We can jump up. Uh, and put our lasers into him without overheating. Just on the edge. Alright, if we can take that left leg out, we've got it. We can get, I would imagine, and this is just a locust, so that's not really. I think that one's a locust too. Maybe a javelin? Javelin? Maybe Javelin? No, two locusts. Alright. Super easy. Super easy cleanup once we get the rifleman out of the way. That makes me think that maybe we can go with a little bit more. Um. Waiting for orders. A little bit more Rolling. attempt. We can get a precision strike in here. Go for the leg. Go for the leg. Fire. If the PPC hits the leg, I think he's going down. No. He's not going down. That's disappointing. Okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do... A... B... C... Yeah, never mind. No real chance to get the LRMs into him. So we just kill the... We kill the rifleman. Unfortunate. But to be honest, I'm okay with taking just one piece of salvage from this battle. With that, I mean, I have a two preferential one, which, you know, kind of, it does make this a bit of a waste, but I'm okay with this. Get some locust parts. Just having the extra mech might actually be a reasonably good idea. Although we don't have enough, we don't have a free mech bait right now. And if I, there are a couple of mechs available actually in the Brockway store. Uh, the only problem really is that um, Order we don't have the cash uh, to acquire them. Center torso. There we go. Right leg destroyed. Both legs destroyed. Awesome. Should help with the low spirits. And uh, I'm going to punch you. I don't know how else to put this. Boom. Down. Alright. So we get a piece of Rifleman's uh, salvage. That's cool. Even if, you know, it feels... It does feel kind of crappy that we could have... We could have possibly gotten two. Hell, even three. Although it would have relied on the Rifleman, the salvage roll, to get it. Because we don't have three picks. But I do think... We're definitely getting that rifle salvage. 
Um, we don't have enough medium lasers just in general, so let's grab that. And we did end up actually getting two pieces of locust salvage off the deal, so that's nice. Let's have a real quick check at the store and see maybe if we can sell off some of the salvage we have, because it's not like outside of the Rifleman we've salvaged... Oh, we, we salvaged a Griffin part, which we'll definitely keep our hands on, because a Griffin would be would be cool, and they're not super hard to find on the battlefield, so we should be able to scrounge up a mech from that. I'm not sure why. I think we're actually okay, but okay. Uh, store. All right, so there's an Annihilator that's definitely out of our price range. An Assassin, a Blackjack, a Commando, a Rifleman 4D, a Thunderbolt 8. Um, so anything like, anything be, anything realistically above this, like, this Blackjack um, is kind of above our pay grade. I mean, Blackjack would be cool. 45 tons would be still, you know, very useful. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of the Assassins myself. Um, but yeah, okay, let's see. What do we got? Uh, oh, right. You got to go and scrap it. Right. So, go to the mech bay. Nice to see you down here in the Bays. Hall. Storage. Keep, keep. Uh, keep the panther. Might, might need a panther. So, get rid, of the, get rid of the spider salvage. Get rid of the locust salvage. I mean, you get more if you actually have, like, a full mech. So, I, could, I should have probably have kept that locust salvage. Still clear that out a little bit. Um, Mech Warriors, any upgrades that we can do? Um, we can upgrade the piloting and the tactics for Battle Cry, which would be a good idea. We can upgrade nothing on Yukon, nothing on Shutter, and nothing on Sidewinder. Okay. Moving on. Next next mission. Bodyguards. Actually, bodyguards is a half skull. We'll do that off. We'll do that. We'll do. I'll do that when I'm just when I'm just ready to leave, basically, and do that off screen. Uh, Commander, we're trying to leave, we're trying to safely uh, transport uh, injured personnel to one of our facilities on Brockway. Unfortunately, the satellite surveillance has shown Torian units operating in the region. We're expecting to move our tactical convoy through. We need a mercenary lance to sweep the area, eliminate any Torian. Out. Please think this contract is as a mission of mercy. I, I I really don't, but I'm fine with. But taking it if you pay me <laughs> pay me my money pay me my sea bills and we're fine we're fine if you pay me sea bills all right here we go also like the davians telling me uh we need a mercenary company to do a mission of mercy set your own fucking people then jesus one of the five largest states in the inner sphere you're rich you the merricks the capellans the Cretans, Lyrans, or Steiners, I suppose, if I'm, if I'm using the house names. Also, why would you have a mercenary lance? It's not like we're even going outside of Davian space. Like, we're, we're, we're in Davian space. Rockway's a Davian planet. It's a bit weird that we're even having to do this. Ooh, this map. I like this map. Okay, um, let's get moving. My God, what a hole! My God, what a hole! <laughs> I'm there. Uh, Home Alone Two, anybody? <laughs> you got it. Uh, okay, we got a commando and a javelin. On my way. So nothing problematic what? yet. There is a mystery mech in the distance, though couple of mystery mechs so could be a fair number we could we are outnumbered though so, I suspect that we have um, that we're not out hunt by the looks of it Acknowledge. what are you you're another commando okay 50% chance to hit that's fine oh we got an open open shoulder He is going to retaliate, though, with that large laser that commandos tend to carry in this game. Armor breach. Internal damage. Because that makes sense. And 
the locust. Oh crap. Pile it down. That hit me. Looks like they're all light mechs. Which means honestly, we'll probably get the spider more or less out of there. What's up, I mean Yukon's already you know, in trouble, but you know, we'll deal with it. Um fifty percent chance to hit. 70% chance to hit. 70 and machine guns. You are the answer. Because I can fire everything. There we go. Left torso, left arm destroyed. Nice. Sidewinder, you're our slow man. Put this put this guy out of his misery, please. Oh, the auto cannon missed. Lame. Got the kill, though. That's fine. Apparently there's only four of them. I thought I counted five. By. They will get another turn of shooting at... Um, of shooting at the spider, which is a bit lame. But it's fine. Oh, and it's definitely not even the guy I really want doing that. Center torso is open, so the spider is going to be 100% out of commission. For a bit. Copy that. May mean we may need to take it. We may need to go do the next mission three with a three mech uh, unit, three quarter lance, because we will not be taking. Well, I mean, we only have three pilots anyways, actually. So even if even if the spider could go, we got no one to drive it. So there is that. They're going after Shutter in the Phoenix Hawk, but he's gonna be Good fine. Okay. We've got some damage on the Commando and the Locust. And our best chance to hit is the Commando. So let's go Precision Strike. Center Torso. Go for the kill. Got it. Nice. Commando down. Uh, what can Battlecry do? Gotcha. Chances are we're not going to be able to shoot this Locust with a uh, Sidewinder. We're also very hot. Actually, you need a laser? Yeah, we'll do the PPC and the LRMs. Javelin. Makes sense. And... There we go. We can get a line of sight. Full Alpha. Very nice hit. No weaponry left on, on the Javelin. Excellent. So we just get to focus on the Locust then. Don't kick me. Rude. Um, honestly, I feel, I feel safe enough to bring Yukon's spider back in. To peel off some evasion on the Locust. Although, in fairness, I'm probably actually just going to smack it with uh, Battle. With uh, Battle Cry. Because Battle Cry is a little bit hot right now. There we go. Left torso, left arm, pilot injured, small laser. Oh, a miss. How do you miss when you're meleeing with a laser? That's just, that's just silly. Um, and the Phoenix Hawk can just basically finish off the Javelin, I think. Nope. Apparently not. Okay. So, let's go for the kill. No LRMs, please. There we go. AC-10 does miraculously good things to the back of a Locust. So just the Javelin left, uh, he can, if he wants, melee attack somebody. That's really about it. And I'm not really worried about it. Um, Shutter. I'll give you, you. You've been doing good. I'll give you the honors. There you go. Really underwhelming actual attack, but machine guns get the job done. That's good.
All right. We've done some repairing of our reputation with uh, the faction that we're currently in the space of. So that's, you know, a good idea, if we're being honest. Be a really bad idea. I mean, it'd be a bad idea to, to make the Davians our enemies while we're still in their space. Like, at least get our asses out into, like, Torian space before we do that or something. Or, um, I guess the Capellans would be kind of close. I don't like the Capellans. I don't. They're the assholes of the setting, really. Like, serious note here. I don't, I don't really know what, what there is to like about them. So, mech bays. I will put the spider in for repairs. I don't know if I want to do a refit. Like, we're running into some heat issues, sure, but, like, I don't know. Kind of feels like... I don't know. You, what, what could I do? Like, small lasers don't count as lasers in this game. So, you know, that's kind of wrong. Although, I will... I am going to do a little something here. Take off some armor. from the arms and put it on the, the torsos to make it a little bit more survivable. That I think would be a good plan. Would be a quick refit on the spider. Three days apparently. Okay, we can do the next one with just three mechs though, I think without any problem. Embassy Extraction. One of our VIPs in a touring facility on Brockway. We, uh, we need to get her off-world and the building surrounded by Davian forces. You will sweep aside the opposition, recover our VIP, transport her to a designated facility for extraction. Be prepared for opposition. Hmm. I mean, let's get it done. Um, and yeah, Yukon got hurt, so no, no debate about who to bring. Sidewinder, Battlecry, and Shudder. Who are going to get this one? It's me and the ladies. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I was doing a little dance too with that. It's a bit confusing. Just just accept that I, I'm going to do things that make no sense and are vaguely uh, insane. That's really all I have. And I also, every time the screen goes black here, I realize I really need to clean my screen. Retrieve the VIP and escape. Excellent. Probably a mission that the Centurion is not actually all that well suited to, but the Phoenix Hawk and the Vindicator are, so that is fine. Here we go. Uh, all right, this should be straightforward mission retrieval. Okay, quite Okay, let's see. What okay, awesome. Okay, y'all. Stay frosty. It really would be nice if we got some more vi viable mission types in this game. That way, like, I wouldn't just be able to do, well, exactly what I did, which is, like, completely skip the briefing and know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> because, like, it feels feels like those should actually be worthwhile, and they're just, they're just not right now. Uh, okay. An... Uh, unknown but i was i could see you for a I moment there something. two unknown mechs they're definitely lights yes commander Let's see on my way uh fire starter i don't want that to get anywhere near me fire frankly so let's kill it fire starters are exceedingly ignoring because of the fact that they they usually carry flamethrowers and this one is no exception it has a bunch of flamethrowers and machine guns. Actually looks a lot like a one of my uh, Mech Warrior Online builds, to be honest. Which is kind of neat. Alright. Hit him! Okay, we got the center torso open at least. He is going to get another turn, though. And there are the flames. Of course, it's on the mech that probably needs the le most help with heat efficiency. Actually, no, the Vindicator is the worst. Javelin with some LRMs. I'm perfectly fine with you going for the Centurion. That is that is pretty much ideal, to be honest. 
and a Locus 1S. Which I didn't think had missiles. Does a 1S have missiles? Apparently. Okay. Let's get you up here. Decision strike. Center torso. Just kill it. I'm in no mood. I'm in no moods for playing with you. With you at all. Uh, that is not a thing I'm interested in doing. We'll just we'll just leave it at that. Uh, between the locust and the javelin, the question is, so do I have a better chance of hitting? And apparently, also, where am I going to overheat terribly? Just lovely. Which makes me really nervous about Shudder, because, let's face it, Shudder just got hit with flamethrowers. Probably isn't in a great place to fire. Right, well, we got two. That's fine. We got the fire starter, and that was... Actually, ignoring the flamethrowers even was definitely the most dangerous mech that they had. Fire starters are actually pretty tough mediums, or to pretty tough lights. Like there are mediums that I, I feel more confident in killing than than fire starters, which is um, a bit weird. Commander, so can I just hit him? That'd be good. So I'm kind of hot. Missed. Wow. Shudder. You suck at this whole... <laughs> at this whole thing. Jesus. It's got not not even the first time he's missed. Or, she, or she's missed. Uh, anyways. That'll still be an easy kill. Cool. And then to finish her off... We're gonna jump down. Take aim. And completely miss with a PPC round. Fantastic. Hell yeah. Should be the last met uh, should be the last person, at least for now. But there yeah, but this is gonna be one of those like escort missions where definitely there there there's gonna be like an you know, a secondary force that shows up and Makes us all cry. And, uh... By. Makes us all fight another battle. That's how it always works. No PPC. Just just a laser. A flag destroyed. Should fall down. Reporting Thank you. Hit. Thank you for falling down. Took you long enough. Making me a little nervous there. Only problem is, is ironically, I can't, I can't even get the Centurion to the evac point. It's a bit weird. There we go. He can kill it. He can kill the javelin though. All right. Um. So with that, we're gonna just move in here. Grab our VIP. Rolling. And at some point, find my way down from here. Actually, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go around this way probably. Oh, never mind. There was no uh, secondary thing. So, legitimately, they just had us fight three light mechs. That is kind of poor, really. That's, that's terrible. It's like an, it's, it's the easiest mission we've had yet. It's not going to come with any interesting salvage, probably. Let's see. <laughs> we got a flamer. Yay. I never really understood that flamers have ammo. It's a bit weird. LRM-15 is interesting. And you can never have too many medium lasers. Like, straight up. Never can have too many medium lasers. They're excellent uh, pieces of hardware to to have. Do <laughs> do. Alrighty. Um, do I want to do this contested will mission with just three mechs? Davy and Fal uh, family lost a large, lost a large area of land on Brockway, thanks to dubious legal ma maneuvering by Torian agents. This land includes an important ancestral military base. 
We need the space to be taken back from the Torians, held until this can be sorted out. Hmm. I kind of want a third mech, or a fourth mech. Problem is, the cicada is borderline useless, actually. I have to re refit that. I kind of screwed up there. I could wait 11 days for the panther to be ready. And that's probably what we're going to have to do. Um, unless we can buy something. We could buy a commando. But we don't have a, we don't have a mech bay. So actually that's... Even that wouldn't be actually all that useful. Okay. Alright, let's fast forward here. Tranquility will be up and running. And we'll have the panther. And no low spirits for Shudder and Yukon, so that's ideal. And we'll actually have an updated uh, upgrade on our uh, automation our automation update, upgrade, which is nice. Two more days. Boom, boom. There we go. O to the XO! Annoy Darius calls you on the comms commander. I'm going to need you over the corridor, corridor between the barracks and the mess. I caught Shudder painting my likeness on the ball. Kids, I'm not amused. Shudder is a dick. Porter stands next to the mirror, clutching an airbrush behind her. The ex was depicting, flexing his shirtless, ripping by... Oh. 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 Okay. Lighten up, Darius. <laughs> I don't know. This is going to do more, though. This is the problem. Uh, you're fighting missiles or space or... Ah, okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Okay. Um. So, mech bays. Alright, so... Here's the problem with the cicada. Is I, I, I foolishly forgot that I needed medium lasers, basically. Because I didn't have any in stock. So, there we go. Two medium lasers, and now it's uh, fully upgraded uh, because, let's face it, what else am I going to do with this thing? Like, I don't know. Cicadas are exceedingly lame, I guess is what it comes down to. Like, really lame. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> it's just a big spider at this point. <laughs> like, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Oh well. I'm dealing with it. Needless to say, this is like this will be the first Mac that just stops being used. Because I, I just I, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's so bad. It's such a bad cicada. Um Are there any uh are there any camo patterns? Yeah, I think I haven't done the Panther yet. Let's see here. What do we got? That's kinda cool. None of them are all that great. Um, we'll go with number three. It's got the red highlights, at least. Uh, okay. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. This is the hardest mission we have done yet. Um, these missions are not normally that hard, though. So, I'm I'm not I'm not super worried. Uh, not very worried. Not very worried at all. So, Tranquility is back with the Panther. Okay. Um, though to be honest, I think the Phoenix Hawk actually becomes the better scout mech at this point, because we want Shudder's better gunner, gunnery skills on the Panther. So there we go. Cause Shudder is, Shudder's our sniper. There is that. Although the uh, higher initiative on the light mech does obviously improve, um, scout ability. Rather than the Phoenix Hawk, but still. The Phoenix Hawk's got jump jets and, and very nimble. It's going to be an ideal uh, scout mech, I think, uh, in the long run. And definitely it'll be Tranquility's mech moving forward. We just need to get another serviceable medium mech, basically. Um, getting a little history lesson on the Kelhounds, one of the more notable mercenary units in the galaxy. And probably my favorite, actually. Probably. It's either them or the McCarran armored... Uh, Karen Armored. Although the Urodani Light Horse I've always also enjoyed. So there is there is that. Uh, located there. Okay, let's move in. Don't really like this map. 
Moving has out. It's one of those like multiple choke point maps. Rolling. And we're standing on some ice, which is never a great, never a great plan, but uh, we're we'll we'll do what we can. It's like a modern military base to me. Hmm. Hmm. We're being used to do some dirty work for the Davians, which I guess, again, is fine, because we do kind of need some favor with the Davians, and we've been working for the Torians enough that hopefully the Torians won't be too, too angry that we've screwed up their plans. Find out. This is a defense mission, of course. Okay, hostiles coming in. Max so far. Ready for orders. Firing okay. jump. Well, let's get let's get into the base. We got company. Third mech. Fourth mech. It's four on four, but they have all light mechs. We have mostly a medium lance. Which is ideal for dealing with the light mechs because while they are lighter and more maneuverable than us, they're not so light and maneuverable that we can't um, hunt them down and, you know, more or less keep them from doing keep them from doing light mech things. And we're gonna focus fire the spider first, just because he happens to be he or she happens to be the closest one. I was gonna say I'd love to do a precision shot there and aim for the torso, but apparently don't have the morale for it. But we can get some decent damage in still. Okay. So we have our light max turn. This is our new uh, one with the double lasers as opposed to the PPC. The PPC was just getting too hot. And I think I think I like I like this a lot better. As much as the PPCs are really, really use Ah oh, no Pilot injury. Lucky head lucky headshot. It's a missile headshot too. Like couldn't even couldn't even been aimed. Okay. So they're going after Battlecry. Pretty hard, actually. Fortunately, Battlecry can engage from fairly long range, so... Let's jump. Mostly for, um... Evasion. And... We're closest to, having, to being able to kill that spider, so let's do that. Tranquility is going to face off with them. And be like... Come on, you want to shoot a Phoenix Hawk, don't you? That's how this is how this always works. I mean, come on, you always want to shoot a Phoenix Hawk. And of course, as always, I'm going to be big and bold and move my Centurion up. And there we go. One spider down, two Panthers, and a Javelin to go. Enemy mech Hot damn. Let's do this. Um. Sure, who I want to prioritize Enemy next, commander. to be honest. Good to go. Move shutter up. Sixty-five, forty-five. All right. Well, by virtue of being able to hit this one, way easier. It will be the Gunner Panther that we're going after. The Javelin would be the easiest to kill, though. To be clear. It's a little bit lighter than a panther. They're not focusing at all, so that's good. That's nice. They're splitting their fire. Alright, move up. Um, actually, you know what? We can get a call shot and take that DPC off. That'd be great. No, no joy. No joy. We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way with a fist, that, with a kick to the gut. I'm here. Order acknowledged. Affirmative. There we go. Right arm destroyed. 
We did get the PPC. This is good. Alright, the other panther is becoming a bit of an annoyance. Um, it'd be nice if I could get a kill here. Or you can go again. And I'm willing to use a precision strike for it. So center torso. There we go! This panther is still very effective, even without the PPC. And it's way more heat efficient now. I'm pretty happy with this. Although this map would would is not a great is not a great test of um, of the whole thing because let's face it, we're in the snow, so heat isn't really a problem. Up that panther, and we are going to falcon punch the javelin, and then battle cry is going to move up. And honestly, get revenge on the javelin, probably. No, Panther. Fire. Probably a mistake. We might have actually been able to kill the javelin. Ooh, but the javelin isn't going to take its turn. Okay, so fine. Shutter can move and kill the javelin. That would be. Perfectly fine too, and I'm willing to use a precision strike for it again. Him ah! Structure exposed. Lame. Hopefully that doesn't require any actual repairs to bring back. Ah, uh, uh, tranquility. We'll keep working on the panther, I think. Copy that. You're going to give me your back. I am going to use it. And uh, that's how that's going to work. Sidewinder is going to turn. and Apparently not fire at the javelin. Because it's got like no actual chances to hit the javelin. It will kill the panther instead. And that does give Battlecry the right to possibly avenge herself. Because she was injured, I'm pretty sure, by... That javelin. And uh, there we go. I think that's the mission. I think. Is it not the mission? mission? It is the mission. Successful. Cool. So we've done some dirty work for the Davians. Worked against the Torians, who are sort of our buddies. But there appears to be a little of a... A little bit of a border skirmish going on here that we kind of we kind of find ourselves in the middle of, which is you know it's fine. Don't mind it. We're mercenaries. Can't we can't we can't be picky. Although we did lose Battle Cry uh, for injuries, and possibly the Panther might need to actual repair itself. We got some Spider and Jump Jet Salvage, which is nothing particularly cool. I guess I should hang on. I, I shouldn't have unloaded all that salvage earlier. I should try and let them form into mechs and then sell the mechs because those are way more um, expensive. Which is probably what we'll do. So we're making mistakes, but we're 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 doing we're doing okay. All right, so. What'll it be for the next episode? We're gonna have to move. We're, we're gonna, well, actually, I guess that, that doesn't really matter because we're, we're gonna be moving. So off screen, I'm gonna do the bodyguards mission. It's a half skull. Come on, you guys don't have any interest in seeing that, do you? Um, do we have anything upgrade in progress and upgrades here? We do not. Um, I wanna get just get, get faster repairs, frankly, right now. So we'll get working on that. Uh, navigation, star map. Okay, where are we gonna go next? So we're here at we're here at uh, Brockway. We could go back to Lindsay. Could go into Torian space to Mithron, which is what I'm leaning towards, or Atreus Prime. Both of those would be fine. Or we could jump over to yeah. You know what? It's gonna be Mithron. It's the only one that really makes sense right now. This is a little bit scary for Skull missions kind of scary not gonna lie so we'll cross over into torian space 
Uh, and we kind of have a better uh, relationship with the Torians, so that's not a bad idea. Captain's Quarters reputation here. Uh, there we are. With the Torians, we are minus one. Actually, it's kind of gone minus with everybody again. But we are on the best terms with the Torians outside the Arano Restoration. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go into Torian space. That's where we'll be next time. Just quickly check the store out. We do have three and a half million dollars. Um, is there any salvage we kind of like? Mando, assassin, enforcer. Jaeger mech would be terrible. Marauder would not be terrible. Shadowhawk. Kind of want a Shadowhawk. Not gonna lie. Though the Marauder is also pretty cool. You know what? We can, we can buy both. So we're gonna grab some Marauder and some Shadowhawk salvage. There we go. And uh, we'll call it there for the time being. Oh, actually, uh, let's let, let's have a look at the barracks real quick. Let's have a look at the barracks real quick. Uh, can we do anything? We can. Um, get some guts for tranquility. We'll get some guts for myself, Training. Mr. Sidewinder. And also beef up the... No, no. Uh, beef up the tactics Training. for his LR, the LRM barrages. And Shudder is going to get some extra gunnery. For the sniper role that we kind of figure her to have. Uh, Battle Cry can get some more guts. And yeah, that's it. Uh, actually, we can get more gunnery for tranquility as well. Cool. So we're getting we're getting better. Um, you'd be our backup scout, basically. For you, Yukon. All right. So that is all for today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you next time in episode four, I do believe, where we uh, make our way to Mithron. So get ready for that.